Yeah, I'm not doing that well. <laughs> The good thing about working out at 5 a.m. in the morning is that there's no one here. This lighting is terrible. So now is by far the worst part of the day. It's after I've just finished running and biking and I'm starving because I'm running on three crackers and a handful of almonds. Here's the thing though, I have to wait for my dad because he's my ride and I'm 17 and I still don't know how to drive. So it's not like I can just, you know, hijack his car and drive home. So yeah, I just have to wait here in hunger, you know, this is great. Sorry if I couldn't film so much on the treadmill. There's a treadmill and then right in front of it, there's an elliptical. And there was this guy on the elliptical and he wouldn't stop looking at me, like just staring at me. And usually if someone's staring at me, my plan of action is to just stare right back at them. Like, you know, like. What are you doing? And usually they'll be like, oh, okay, like don't stare at her because she doesn't like to be stared at. Can you shut up? Okay, never mind. But here's the thing, he wouldn't stop looking at me. He just stared right back at me. I had to stare into those deep, soulless eyes for like 20 minutes. And I felt just so uncomfortable. Like, what if I just pulled out my camera and was like, oh, hey, it's me and I'm on the treadmill and I'm running. It was weird. It was strange. So um, I'm just gonna wait here, super hungry, and I'll see you guys at home and we'll talk some more. So now I'm just munching on some avocado toast. About a year ago, I discovered the miracle of avocado toast. Because up until then, I'd eat a banana pancake and then just like plain avocado. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was okay, but I needed a change, you know? One day, I had the brilliant idea to put my avocado on some bread. And I was like, oh my god, what the heck? What have I been missing all this time? That's when my addiction started. Are we doing a mukbang? Is this what a mukbang is? You know what I really hate? How James Charles pronounces mukbang. It's like mukbang or whatever and it's so weird. I hate it. Anyways, that was off topic. Oh, I love avocado toast. So on the agenda for today, after this, I'm gonna foam roll. Then I need to take a shower because I'm one stinky girl, you know, and then I'm gonna have lunch and then we have to go to Michael's because I recently just completely redid my room and I decided to paint like a huge mural for this wall that's like pretty much empty. All we have is like a piece of paper to mark where it's supposed to go and it looks absolutely ridiculous and when I sleep it's just like this black like hole and it scares me so much so today we're gonna go to Michael's and actually get a proper canvas and like get paints and everything so that's gonna be expensive I'm gonna spend literally all my money on this and then after Michael's I don't know you know what place I love Ikea aka the Swedish monster I've been to Ikea three times in the past two days like it's kind of like the Zara or H&M of home furniture you know <laughs> Whoa. So anyways, now we have to do foam rolling for my Achilles tendon. My Achilles tendon, this thing, it's completely messed up. So I have to foam roll the hell out of it. <clears throat> okay, that was a really good burp. My mom told me to stop burping because she said it's kind of rude. Um, do you want to fight? Like, really? Hey, so while I do this, I have a couple unpleasantries to share with you. Yesterday, I might have had the worst day of my life. So I woke up at 5 a.m. and I got out of bed, got dressed, went to the gym, and I was ready to swim. And I take out my swimsuit and there's just this centipede in it, just chilling there. Are you guys aware of house centipedes? Do you know what those are? I'd put up a picture, but they're so damn scary that I'm pretty sure I'd get 
flagged. They're nasty. Anyways, yeah, just this fat house centipede just chilling in my swimsuit, just sitting there, you know? And those things are fast. They move at like 100 miles an hour. So anyways, I take out my swimsuit and it takes me a while to notice that it's just there, right? Just sitting. And then when I notice it, obviously I freak out. So I throw the swimsuit on the ground and just like scream. The house centipede just starts running. It starts running towards the other end of the room. But guess what? I'm faster. I run behind it and I just step on it. And that wasn't really nice. That was the first unpleasantry of the day. So then I had to put in my contacts and the first one went in fine and then I put the second one in But for some reason I don't put it in the other eye. I put it in the same eye. How does that happen? I had enhanced vision in one eye for like 20 seconds and half of me was like, whoa, this is so cool. Like, I can literally see the dust specks at the other end of the room. But then my other eye was just like, help and blind. Then I took it out and it was fine. But I was definitely scarred. Not really. That's dramatic, but still. That wasn't supposed to happen. So yeah, that was the recap of probably the worst day of my life. Now we're just gonna keep on foam rolling. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, so I've just finished my exercises and now I'm gonna go take a shower because um, I'm one stinky gal, you know? I'm sorry, that was really weird. Okay. Time to shower. And I'm not gonna take you in there with me because, you know, I'm way too thick, so. <laughs> what did I tell you? Don't look. I'm serious. I have been thoroughly showered. If you're wondering what's on my shirt, they're UFO sightings. I got it at Value Village for less than a dollar. Anyways, why don't we do a face mask? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a face mask. If you're wondering, I don't really have a skincare regimen. I just put like a bunch of stuff on my face and um, hope that it works. I guess that's part of the reason why I look like this. I'm gonna use this Clinique City Block Purifying Charcoal Clay Mask Plus Scrub. I'm pretty sure this was a free sample because I would never go out of my way to buy this. I look like Thomas the Train. So while we wait for this situation to dry, why don't we just listen to some tunes? This song is not usually something I would listen to, but I don't know what it is. It gets me going. It's about to get really good. Ah! Now this next song, it's definitely a more emo song and it hits you in the feels every single time. I heard it two months ago. I cried because it was just so beautiful. I swear I'm gonna cry. My mask is like completely dry. So I'm gonna go wash this beautiful masterpiece off my face. Anyways, now we're gonna go to Michael's. Time to spend some money. <laughs> Ew. So I just picked out my outfit. <laughs> Get ready because it's one for the books. It's pretty impressive. It's quite amazing, not gonna lie. Not gonna toot my own horn if you know what I mean, but um, it's quite something. I still look like a fart. Who's ready to spend all their money? Me.
I've been here for five minutes and I've already bought stuff that I don't need. Guess what? This has proved to be a great disaster. Not only do they not have what I'm looking for, but they don't have what I'm looking for. We drove all the way here, sat in traffic for this, and I'm starving. I wanna die. I'm so angry right now. I went into Michael's with the expectation of buying one fat canvas and one set of expensive paints. And guess what I left with? No canvas, no set of expensive paints, and a handful of stuff I didn't need. I have no self-control in case you can't tell. So now I'm gonna treat you guys to a very angry haul. Let the passive aggressiveness begin. Actually, no, it's not passive aggressive. It's full aggressive. So the first piece of trash I got, this floral box, I didn't need this box. I already had a box. I don't even have enough stuff to put it in these boxes. And then, as if one box wasn't enough, say hello to number two. I can't believe I did this. I'm shocked. Someone should just take away my credit card because this is a federal crime. And then I bought this stupidly overpriced tube of paint. It was $12 for this. I'm not kidding. $12. Ew. This lighting is so bad. Nothing is working for me today. Now for the last two items. What is this? What is that? How is this gonna help me? <sighs> Take a shot every single time I say I didn't need this. I dare you. You're gonna die from alcohol poisoning. Now for the last item. This one's a shocker. And um, buckle your seatbelts, cause it's quite something. Yes, I bought more flowers. And this, it wasn't even cheap. Guess how much it was? It was $13. I can't. I can't anymore. This is it. I've lost my mind. I've officially gone bonkers. Just kidding. I wouldn't shed tears over this. So that's it for this video. I would include a dinner segment, but we're not really eating dinner. My dinner was pretty much just an apple because we spent all of our time at stupid Michael's. So if you enjoyed it, I didn't. This was not fun to film, especially the ending. The beginning, it was okay, but now it's not so fun. So if you liked it, good for you. You're a champ and I'm proud of you. You deserve a gold star, buddy. I'll try to be back with another video tomorrow. Not making any promises because tomorrow we're going Going back to Ikea for the fourth time. My bank account is not gonna be happy with me after this. So yeah, I'm gonna stop filming now before my phone runs out of storage for like literally the 10th time today. Okay, see you guys later.